I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. I can tell you what Christmas is all about. That's not roasting. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mallory and if you are new here, hi, hello, it's nice to have you here with me. Today, as you can tell by my cute little Christmas tree behind me, we are starting the Christmas videos on my channel. I am so excited. Guys, I love Christmas. I just love the holiday spirit that everyone has and how everyone's so nice to others and everyone's just so serving and obviously, everyone loves the gifts i mean the whole point of christmas isn't gifts but people give you gifts so today's video is going to be a list of 60 ideas that you guys can put on your christmas list this season i've seen a lot of these videos pop up in my recommended and i thought that they were super helpful so i figured why not put one out for you guys because I know a lot of family members have started to ask me what I wanted for Christmas, so I figured that they're asking you guys as well. So without further ado, let's go into my list. I separated my list into one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven categories, and I have a total of 60 items, so um, let's just hop right into it. I'm gonna be popping up a picture right here in front of my beautiful Christmas tree of everything so that you guys know what I'm talking about. My first category is smell goods. I love smell goods, so this is like definitely one of the top categories for me. First item is an essential oil diffuser. I have one of these and I love it. Helps me go to sleep at night and it just makes the whole room smell so nice. Number two is candles. Love candles, can never have enough of those. Number three, is perfume so you can ask for bath and body perfume or like a designer more expensive kind of perfume a designer more expensive kind of perfume that i like is the mark jacobs daisy perfume it smells so good number four is a wax warmer with wax cubes these smell really good they're less intense than a candle or um, essential oil diffuser it's just kind of something that you leave on all day and it's really nice to have one. My last item in this category is essential oil beads for your car. I actually saw this on Etsy and I thought it was super cute so um, I would definitely use it as just even car decoration in my car but it also will make your car smell good. My next category is self-care. This category is near and dear to my heart because senior year has been stressful. <laughs> So first up on my self-care list is the ordinary skincare items. So I'm sure you guys have seen these everywhere because I have. Next up we have Glossier products. This can include lip gloss, like lip tints. I know they have some more skincare items as well. Next I have a bathrobe. I love my bathrobe. Everyone needs a bathrobe. Then we've got some fuzzy socks. Um, going with the whole holiday spirit, I feel like I always get fuzzy socks on Christmas and it's just, I just love fuzzy socks. If you're getting gifts for someone and you don't know where to get them, get them fuzzy socks or just put them on your list. Next is a curling iron. I love my curling iron. I feel like everyone needs a good solid curling iron because curling your hair just takes it to a whole nother level. <laughs> Next we have gel nail polish. I love to paint my nails, but they're not painted right now. But whenever I do paint my nails, I love to do gel nail polish because it does not chip as easy. I'm sure you have seen this all over TikTok is the Tree Hut Body Scrub. Um, this stuff looks so cool and so satisfying and I want it so bad, but I can't find it anywhere. And lastly, in the skincare section of my list is the teeth whitening kit. I use teeth whitening strips, but I'm pretty sure teeth whitening kits work better. My next section is room decor and the first thing on this list is a Himalayan salt lamp. These are so cute. Next up I have another typical one that I feel like everyone and their mother has which is LED lights. I don't have these but they seem really cool and they add a really cool ambiance to a room. Then if you know me you know that I love plants so of course I had to include plants on this list either artificial or real plants. 
I have some artificial ones up there and then I also have some real ones. I love my real ones. I love taking care of them. And to go along with the plants, I have a plant stand. These would be really nice to just take up a corner if you have an open space in your room. I want one so bad. Then I have a skylight laser galaxy projector. These look so cool. I've seen them all over TikTok. Then my last item in the room decor section of this list is a light up makeup mirror. Since I am going away to college next year, I won't have a vanity. So I figured it'd be nice to just have a light up mirror that you can just sit on your desk. The next section is clothing. This is probably my longest section that I have because I just love clothing and fashion. So first thing is leggings. Some brands that you guys can ask for are Lululemon, Lululemon dupes that are on Amazon, and Airy leggings. I have a two-piece workout outfit. I've started to see these on my social media feed and I think they're so cute. Next, we have a Patagonia pullover. These are super cute. Everyone compliments them. And then next I have boho headbands. I'm wearing one right now. I know Natural Life makes them and I got this one from Earthbound, but I know American Eagle also used to make them. Then I have a good old pair of sweatpants. Um, I've been seeing really cute gray sweatpants that look super comfy and I've never been a sweatpant wearer, but I want these. Next is oversized sweatshirts. You can never go wrong with a good oversized sweatshirt. Next, I put down a Sherpa pullover. I think these are super cute and super comfy. And then I have a teddy bear jacket. These are also super cute and just really good to throw on with any kind of outfit. Next, I feel like everyone has these and they're mom jeans. If you don't have mom jeans yet, you totally need to hop on the train because they are so cute and so comfy and I don't know what I would do without mom jeans. <laughs> Next on my list, I put down turtlenecks. If you haven't noticed, a lot of people have been layering big old graphic tees with some turtlenecks underneath. I just think turtlenecks are super cute for layering. And then to go with the turtlenecks, like I just said, are graphic tees. Next is also super basic, but it is Air Force Ones. I feel like every girl has these. Next are Chacos, if you like to adventure or hike totally ask for these because they're super nice and I love them. Next are Birkenstocks. I feel like every girl also has these, but they're super cute and they go with literally any outfit. Another basic pair that I feel like every girl has this season are Doc Martens. I'm in love with the way that these look. They go with any kind of outfit and they're super versatile. Lastly, for shoes, I have rain boots. So I think rain boots are super cute just to wear on an everyday basis or in the snow or the rain, obviously. A couple places that I think have cute rain boots are Hunter rain boots and Target also just made some super cute boots. Then we have beanies. I've seen a lot of girls wearing Carhartt beanies lately and they're also really cute. Next is jewelry. If you know me, you know that I love my jewelry. So some places to get jewelry are Alex and Ani, Pure Vita, K Jewelers, Pandora, and Elevated Faith. Next up on my list is a Kendra Scott necklace. These go with any outfit and they just dress up anything. Um, I feel like they're a really good staple to a wardrobe. Lastly on this section of the list is blue light glasses. I feel like everyone needs a good pair of blue light glasses. Now we're going to move on to the tech portion of this list. So the first thing I have is the Canon G7X Mark II, which is what I'm filming on right now. If you are interested in starting a YouTube channel, I totally recommend asking for this camera. It is super easy to use and it also has great quality and it's not overly expensive like a DSLR. Next up, I have AirPods. So since I'm going to college next year, I kind of need to start thinking about technology that I will be using next year. So I went ahead and put on a MacBook Pro on my list. Um, these are very expensive, but they're very useful in college. And then along with that, I put an iPad Air because iPads are really nice 
for note taking and then to go with the iPad I put an Apple Pencil just to make note taking super easy. To keep on going with the Apple train um, I thought that it would be nice to ask for an Apple Watch. These are super handy and I have one and I love it. To go with the Apple Watch we have cute Apple Watch bands. I have this super cute cheetah scrunchie one. I got it off of Amazon, so that's definitely something nice to ask for in a stocking stuffer. Next, I have Casetify or a Wallflower phone case. These are super cute and super good quality. Next, I have a Google Home or an Amazon Alexa. I think that these are super cool and nifty and they seem to be useful. <laughs> Second to last thing on the tech list is a 10 foot phone charger. It's something that you wouldn't really think you would need or want to ask for, but I personally don't want to really spend my money on a charger, so I'd rather just ask for it for a stocking stuff or something. And then the final thing on the tech portion of my wish list is an extension cord with multiple plugins. These are also super useful that you wouldn't think about, but it just triples your plug-in space so you don't have to go around and find 20 different places to plug in your electronics. Now we're on to stationary stuff. I don't know what to call this section. So I have a journal. A really good New Year's resolution, if you are trying to figure one out, is to journal once every single day. Um, I did that one year and it really helped me. I loved journaling. So asking for a journal is a really good idea. I also put down a journaling Bible and then I have a calligraphy pen. Um, if you're trying to develop a talent of doing calligraphy, I think they're really hard to use, but I think they're also really cool. And then lastly, I have Penmate gel pens. These are amazing for note taking, so if you're kind of OCD and you need things to be color coordinated and perfectly written, I totally recommend these pens. My last category is miscellaneous because these things didn't really fit into one category, so I just kind of threw them in. Um, so the first thing on this portion is a weighted blanket. I have heard so much hype about these and I want one so bad. I slept with one one night and it was the best sleep I've ever had. <laughs> Next up is stickers. I know Elevated Faith has really cute stickers and Redbubble has some stickers. Um, I love stickers. I just think they're super cute. And then I put down a Vera Bradley backpack. I have one of these and they're super roomy and it's like my favorite kind of backpack. To go in your car, you could always ask for Etsy car charms. I'll put some pictures right here of uh, different ones that I found, but I've found so many cute ones and I love decorating my car. If you're into decorating your car, definitely go find a car accessory on Etsy and ask for it for Christmas. Number 59 on my list is metal straws because we love to save the environment. And then lastly on my list, number 60 is just plain old gift cards slash money. If you're giving someone a gift or if you know that someone just isn't really good at picking out gifts, just straight up ask for money or gift cards because it's super easy and honestly, sometimes I'd rather get money or gift cards than an actual gift. <laughs> that is everything on my Christmas wish list for this year. Keep in mind, I'm not asking for all of this stuff. I put half the stuff on there just to give everyone ideas. I hope that this video gave you some ideas for what to give someone for this Christmas or what to ask for for this Christmas. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click subscribe down below and also turn on your post notifications so that you get notified every time that I upload a new video. Please leave a like and let me know down below what your favorite thing about the holiday season is and if you have any fun holiday traditions with your family. I will see you all in next week's video. Bye! Thank you.